Don't you get it, Sarah? Sending those kids back to me is like a time bomb waiting to tear my family apart right now. My whole family is in turmoil. Miriam, I am talking to you now and you will not ignore me. This is not the point, sir. Don't make it look like I'm a devil without a conscience. Inhumane? For arresting hoodlums who broke into my They're not hoodlums. Then what are they? Broken was um, inspired by the fact that I looked around, I see people living lives, a lot of experiences, um, and I discovered the greatest influence on everybody is their environment. And sometimes when I look at the screen, I see people go through a lot and come out of it. I see people, uh, you know, they are, they are different strata of life, but these people have been shaped by their world. I wanted to do a film to contribute to the society. I wanted to do a film to touch life, to affect people, because for me, what inspires me is let people feel you, let people be touched by the fact that you know something or you have something. And when I looked around, what do I talk about? This time I said, okay, let me talk about child abuse. I had to do some research, got some gathered facts, and I came up with the movie Broken. Broken is um, a training tool for all parents, for kids, those in school, those out of school, those, those right in the streets. It's, it's a lecture tool, it's, a, it's an experience. Everyone should expect to learn not just one thing, but so many things from the story broken. It's a guide for all families. It's a guide for every kid, for every adult, for every adolescent. We're in a society where a lot of things are being covered, uh, where to reluctant to talk about a lot of things Absolutely. and this is the time I mean we're coming to a time where you know shine the lights in the darkness and expose the darkness for what it is and that's basically why I joined this project. I would say the character in the movie Broken that I played uh, that was quite challenging I would say um, Miriam. Miriam is a woman who's in love with her family yet also has a lot of secrets she'd like to keep away from her family. Either because she loves them or because she's afraid of what they'll think about her. But she generally is a broken woman. Let me use, let me borrow the title of the film. She, she, she travels a journey of self-reconciliation, basically. She also, you know, for a woman who's been married twice in her life, I mean, it's a woman who's been exposed to pregnancy at an early age, she deals with abandoning her children and now trying to keep a family together. It, it's, it's almost two sides, should I say, two opposites. So the character has two sides to her, yet there's a thread that runs through her. She actually has love, but she, she, she has failed and then one hand she succeeded but then failure comes to meet success and then she's trying to marry both of them together Morris it cool. I guess I guess Morris is um, absolutely subsumed in the in the way he feels for his wife and his and his children and so you find him maybe the most subdued in the entire family uh, just making sure that everyone is all right. Um, it's, it's a regular life for him, go to work, come back at five, eat dinner, watch TV, and then everything just goes out of sync with the appearance of these guys, you know. So it's not surprising that he had difficulty um, dealing with um, the appearance of these people, doesn't quite know what to do with them. Um, so his primary concern is his wife just getting well, um, she so that she doesn't lose her balance as well and all that, you know, and the impact on his home. He he has difficulty dealing with all of that because it's it's so totally uh, off terrain for him. It's so totally off track for him. I played Sam. Wow, Sam Sam is this calm and daring person. He's an emotional person, a goal getter. He doesn't give up easily. 
He goes for whatever suits him, whatever floats his boat. It's a very challenging character, highly ch challenging. And it's something, it's a character that even to your date, I'm still not out of it. Ella, the, the character, it's um, a very challenging one. One character that I, for one, I, I dread a whole lot is um, somebody who, who has gone through a whole lot in life, um, a, a whole lot, say sexual harassment, um, abandonment, you know, and then having to go through life from the street to an asylum, in the middle of it, or she had a mental disorder, and then she landed in a family, a strange family, with the support from her brother, who really stood by her a whole lot. From the first day I read of Eric, it blew my mind, you know. Looking at a young man who has lived all his life um, without his family, not in the company of some people he feels he wants to love, but in the company of people that he knows that those guys are heartless, you know. They don't love him. All they, all they care about is what they want from him, right? You know, being born and dumped from childbirth at a refuse, at a refuse place and um,